Ever since he was a young boy, basketball has meant everything to Victor McEwen. I love it. I can't live without it. I love basketball. His father dragging him to the gym. They would be gone sometimes until, I don't know, 11, 12 at night, thinking, Vic, he has to go to school. Huh? That's good for him. But he, he never let that basketball go. He kept that ball in his hand. Imagine feeling that way about something, and then one moment changes everything. That's what happened when Victor got to high school in Grand Blanc. After getting cut his freshman year, Victor tried out for the team again as a sophomore. He figured he'd done at least enough to make the JV squad. Then came the day of final cuts. Everybody sits on the ground, and then um, you, uh, he has a notepad. The coach has a notepad. And all the teams, all the, I mean, all the players are, who are on that notepad made it. So he'll call all the names, and everybody was getting picked up. Everybody standing up, go stand by him. And then, but I, I was left there on the ground. I was waiting for him to call me. I kept looking down at my phone, looking down at my phone, waiting for the text message. And then I called him, and his voice started cracking. He said, Ma, I didn't make it. And, and my heart just sunk. And he said, I think I'm just going to walk home. I tried to hold back my tears because I really just wanted to burst out crying. That's how much I love basketball, you know. But, um, and then I tried, I tried to hold it in, I tried to hold it in, but as soon as I got in the car, I just, I let it all out. It, it hurt me, it was bad. And it wasn't the only pain Victor was dealing with. He'd recently undergone surgery for a condition called cholesteatoma, which caused him to lose about 75% of the hearing in his right ear. He was also feeling down about his parents' divorce. It was all happening at once, and it made Victor think about walking away from the game he loved. I was very close to giving up. Actually, I really did give up. It was really my mother that uh, really pushed me into, and told me that, you know, this is what you need to do with your life. If this is really what you want to do, you need to go for it. I told him, you are not walking away. We are staying focused on this, and you're going to do this. As Victor contemplated what to do next, he thought about a change of scenery. His mom knew the athletic director at nearby but little known Atherton High School. And I had the conversation with Vic. I said, would you really want to come to Atherton? Why did you pick Atherton? It's like, uh, I really don't know nobody. Um, I just think I need a new beginning. I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going to go to a school that accepts me and accept me and I'm going to like just do the best I can because that's the only school that, that's, all my, that's all my only chance. After waiting more than two years to play in a high school basketball game, Victor had to wait just a little bit longer. Because of transfer rules, he had to sit out the first seven games of his junior season. But when he finally stepped onto the court, Victor proved to everyone and himself that he belonged. That first game, that first game, I couldn't wait for it. And when it finally came out, I, I took it all the way. That was, that was like the best day of my life, his first high school game. When I first got him, it was like, okay, I think we got something there. I think we got something there. Then time progressed, time progressed, and then everybody started clicking. And with him shooting like he does and doing the things that he does, it's been like very amazing. As a senior, Victor became the Flint area's leading scorer while leading the Wolverines to their first district title in more than 30 years. We haven't been a basketball school, but now uh, people recognize us. People are respecting us. We step in the gym, oh, we're going to be in for a dogfight. I know these kids are coming to play. Victor knows none of it would be possible without those around him, especially the one person who convinced him to give basketball another shot. That's my number one fan, and uh, I know she has my back, and she just really, really, really have gave, she really boosted my confidence, and if it weren't for her, I would not be here. I know I wouldn't. As it turns out, all Victor McEwen needed was a chance. His basketball future looks brighter than ever, all because he didn't give up on his dream. Believing in myself and, 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 and going out there and like really, really giving it all I got and showing, showing everybody in this area that, I, you know, I do have talent and I, I'm going to show you that I have talent and, you know, that's been my main goal that I can do this, this is basketball, this is what I do.